Assalamu alaikum. Tahir is with you. I hope everyone will be doing well. I'm here with uh, you with my YouTube channel, which is ChemTube with Tahir. Okay, so we are going to do today the lesson which is halogen alkenes. I have different videos for Erexel as well as Cambridge. So Cambridge specification is different and Erexel specification is different. So in this video, I'm going to explain the Erexel specification only uh, for halogen alkenes. In my next video, I'm going to explain then the Cambridge specifications. The halogen alkenes are also known as alkyl halides. That is another name. And sometimes even we call them halo alkenes. So these are different names which we are using for halogen alkenes. You can see here, these are the points, the specification for Erexel. The first point is the nomenclature of halogen alkenes, which means how to write the names of halogen alkenes. So we need to know that we have to know how to draw structural, displayed and skeletal formula of halogen alkenes. You can see here some examples of halogen alkenes. Here you can see the structural formula of one halogen alkene. You can see displayed formula of halogen alkene. The functional group of halogen alkene is halogen. You can see it may be fluorine, it may be chlorine, it may be bromine, it may be iodine. So these are the functional groups of halogen alkenes. Now, based on different types of halogen alkenes, we have three different types of halogen alkenes. We call them primary halogen alkene, we call them secondary halogen alkene, and we call them tertiary halogen alkenes. How to differentiate between primary, secondary, and secondary and tertiary, primary and tertiary halogen alkenes. So the basic idea is behind the carbon, which is bonded to your halogen. Keep it in mind, the carbon which is bonded to halogen is known as alpha carbon atom. Now we have to look at this alpha carbon atom. We can define alpha, beta, primary, secondary, tertiary halogen alkene in different ways. I have to look at the alpha carbon atom. First, I'm going to define it with respect to alpha hydrogen. So what is alpha hydrogen? You can see here, this is one simple halogen alkene. This is your functional group and this is your alpha carbon. Now this alpha carbon has one alpha hydrogen, this is second alpha hydrogen and this is third alpha hydrogen. So we have different alpha hydrogen atoms which are directly bonded to alpha carbon atoms. So what are alpha carbon atoms? The carbon atom which is bonded to, covalently bonded to uh, halogen is known as alpha carbon atom. Now, what are alpha hydrogen atoms? Alpha hydrogen atoms are those atoms which are directly bonded to alpha carbon atoms. And the carbon which is bonded to alpha carbon atom is known as beta carbon atom. And hydrogens bonded to beta carbon atoms are known as beta hydrogen. So we can define primary, secondary, and tertiary based on first alpha hydrogen. You can see that if we have three alpha hydrogen, one, two, and three, with alpha carbon, so maybe three alpha hydrogen, or sometimes even we have two alpha hydrogen. So if in my structure, we have three alpha hydrogen or two alpha hydrogen, we call them primary uh, halogen alkene. But if we have one alpha hydrogen, you can see in this example now, we have just one alpha hydrogen. So if we have one alpha hydrogen, it means this is secondary halogen alkene. Look at now tertiary halogen alkene. In tertiary halogen alkene, the alpha carbon has no alpha hydrogen. See, there's no alpha hydrogen in my structure. So if there's no alpha hydrogen, it means this is tertiary halogen alkene. So we define halogen alkenes, primary, secondary, and tertiary based on alpha carbon, alpha hydrogen. If we have two or three alpha hydrogen, that is primary halogen alkene. If we have one alpha hydrogen, that is secondary halogen alkene. And if we have no alpha hydrogen, it means this is tertiary halogen alkene. This is based on alpha hydrogen. We can define primary, secondary, tertiary halogen alkene even based on beta carbon. Look at this example. In this example, we have alpha carbon. This is beta carbon now. So if we have one beta carbon, this is known as primary halogen alkene. But if we have, you can see here in this example, if we have two beta carbon atoms, this is first beta carbon, this is second beta carbon, this is known as 
secondary hydrogen alkene. Now look at this example. In this example, you can see this is primary carbon, alpha carbon, this is beta carbon, this is beta carbon, and this is beta carbon. You can see we have three beta carbon. This is first beta carbon, this is second beta carbon, and this is third beta carbon. So if you have three beta carbon atoms, this is known as tertiary hydrogen alkene. So let me summarize primary, secondary, tertiary hydrogen alkene again. First way we can define it based on alpha hydrogen. Primary hydrogen alkenes are those hydrogen alkenes where we have two or three alpha hydrogen. If we have just one alpha hydrogen, that is secondary hydrogen alkene. If we have no alpha hydrogen, that is like tertiary hydrogen alkene. Based on beta carbon, in this structure you can see this is alpha carbon, this is hydrogen, right? And look at this carbon. This carbon is beta carbon. We have just one beta carbon atom. So if we have just one beta carbon atom, this is known as primary hydrogen alkene. Okay, now look at this structure. In this structure, we have two beta carbon atoms. See, this is first carbon, second carbon, they are beta carbons. So if you have two carbon atoms, this is known as secondary hydrogen alkene. Look at now tertiary hydrogen alkene. See, this is tertiary hydrogen alkene now. I have three beta carbon atoms in my structure. If I have three car beta carbon atoms in my structure, it means this is tertiary hydrogen alkene. So in this first section, the purpose of this section was to introduce to you uh, the LXL specification for halogen alkenes and the second part was the nomenclature of halogen alkenes and to differentiate among primary, secondary and tertiary halogen alkenes. I hope you understood these three different types uh, and in my next video I'm going to explain the chemical reactions and the physical properties of halogen alkenes.